Welcome to Radio Arizona RV. This is Eric Stark, and today I'm doing episode number 25. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about technology, more specifically, entertainment, and ways to maybe expand on what you have as far as your technology to have a larger TV, if you will. Specifically, I'm talking about projectors. You know, many RVers carry laptops, computers, you have iPhones, iPads, Android devices, whether it's Samsung, whatever the brand is, it doesn't matter. You have technology that can be put to use. And in an RV, sometimes you don't have a lot of space. Well, not sometimes, all the time, you don't have a lot of space, especially for like a 65 inch TV, a 55 inch. And I know some RVs do come with them, but other RVs are very limited. You might have a wall for it, but then it's not convenient because of where it's at or specific things that would interfere with it. But you know, in an RV, with the technology that more than likely you have, you could get a small projector, like a Pico projector from AXA Technologies. That's A-A-X-A, AXA. Their website is AXA, A-A-X-A, T-E-C-H dot com. And I will put that on Radio Arizona RV because these guys make an awesome product and they specialize in these Pico projectors or small projectors. They have one particular model that is the size of like a, a smartphone. And these things are powerful. So, you know, for an RV, you're not stuck inside because I'm out. I see what RVers do when they're camping, especially long-term ones. They, they set up their awnings. They're outside. They enjoy the outside. So you could literally hang a sheet from the side of your RV underneath your awning and show a video outside. You might not even have to hang a sheet depending on what the side of your RV looks like. And you know, it's amazing how clear video can show up through a projector on the side of something. I've seen it in homes where the walls are, you know, stuccoed or no, excuse me, not stuccoed, they're texture coated it's like a green paint. And you can sit there and watch a movie. And it comes out great. And this isn't with a super high quality projector, but these Pico projectors are ideal because you could literally show it inside the RV if you wanted to, if you had the space or a wall where you could do it. You know, some RVs have uh, roll down shades in the front on the windshield that could be a projector screen outside on the side of the RV. Maybe it's not underneath the awning, but the opposite side, you might have a 50 or 60 inch area that'd be ideal for watching a movie on having some friends over to share a movie, you know, to get eight or 10 people packed in an RV to watch a movie is ridiculous, but to have eight or 10 people outside under the awning watching a movie, that's fun. That's not ridiculous. And these projectors are inexpensive and it doesn't matter what device you have. You can always connect to it. There's an adapter for anything these days. And these projectors come with different inputs or outputs. You know, they have mini HDMI, which is a smaller version of the regular HDMI. They have the VGA adapter, which is just like on most um, older computer monitors. It had a blue end, 10 or 12 pins in it. Pretty common on an older monitor. Newer monitor monitors have DVI connectors. Some of them have display port connectors. It doesn't matter what you have though. There's an adapter and the adapters are cheap. I'm not sure what AXA actually sells as far as all their adapters go, but generally you can go to a electronic store like Best Buy, walk in with it, show them what you're trying to do and they'll hook you up. Or you can buy them online if you know what you're looking for, if you're familiar with this. And I'm sure if you call AXA, they can tell you exactly what you need. If they don't have it, maybe where to get it, give you the right name though. So you're using the right terminology. Cause that's really what it boils down to is connecting these. It's just having the right cable to hook up your device to it. You know, um, iPads, they have, um, their own little, uh, their connectors, but they're adaptable to anything. And same with your Androids there. They have their own, their own adapter, but it's adaptable to just about anything. So it's really not a big deal to hook these things up. Anybody could do this. You don't have to be a, a technological genius. Believe me, you really don't. And these things are awesome. So really it can expand your horizons in your RV and not if you're just a full timer, but what about a family, someone who's going out for the weekend, you bring your kids, you can actually have movie night, turn it into something. 
Or if you're out at the dunes, you got a toy hauler, man. You got the big old door on the back of that toy hauler. What an awesome place to project a movie. And you can have many people there. You can turn it into something fun. You know, it doesn't have to be just two people crammed in an RV or four people. You can have 10 people, 12 people, 20 people, whatever. You know, so it, it expands your, your options of entertainment. And with Netflix, Amazon, you know, there's uh, Hulu. There's all these different avenues for getting videos inexpensively, cheap, or free, even YouTube. And all these devices play over the internet and many RV parks already have Wi-Fi, So it's a natural. And even if you can't play live, you can always download movies as well. But Netflix, Amazon, they're designed for the lowest possible internet connection you can have. You know, those movies are tweaked in such a way that they play on pretty bad connections. So you can really enjoy it. But if you know, you're going to be someplace where there's no internet, you know, you don't have it on your phone download some movies, bring them with you. It's easy to do this. And these are all things. If, if you don't have someone in the house to help you with, you can, heck, you could call me 800-789-5588 and I can help you. Or you can go to a local electronics store. You can Google this stuff. You can find it on the internet. But the point is these projectors are small. They're compact. They work great. They show good pictures. You can get a, a 50 inch screen out of some of them. The smaller ones, the larger ones, of course, would be a larger screen. And, you know, they start out at like 200 bucks, like one model's under 200 and they just kind of go up from there. And if you go to their website, axatech.com, if you click on the store link at the top across or across the top, it says store. If you click on that, it kind of brings up all the models and puts them right there in front of you with more information. So it might make the, the decision making a little bit easier that way. It's almost like a comparison. And of course you can buy it from their website or you can shop it on the internet to see if you can buy a better price or, or something else, a package deal where they include the adapters you might need or whatever it might be, but check it out, you know, expand your horizons, get outside of the RV, look at what you have, where you have available space to use a projector. Projectors might seem like they're old school, but they're not. They're used all over the world today. Businesses use them. Schools use them, churches use them. They're very common because of their, where they can be used at. And an RV is an ideal place to use a projector because you don't have the space like an auditorium or like a house with a home theater system or a big giant living room where you can have a 65 inch TV and you might have the space for the TV, but can you have the space to watch it with 10, 10 of your friends? Probably not at least not in comfort. So check it out. Go to axatech.com. See what they have. That's the brand I would recommend. That's the brand I would purchase. And that's exactly the, the company that you want to go to. They have a great product and a great name. So this is Eric Stark with Radio Arizona RV. And I hope you enjoyed this episode, episode number 25. It's about entertainment and what we can do with the devices we already have in our RV and expanding our, our inside to the outside or the inside of our RV to the great outdoors, if you will. So I want to thank you again for listening and check us out on the internet at www.radioarizonarv.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.